Hi guys, today I have a different type of video for you. I'm going to be sharing with you our grocery haul. Now today's grocery haul is a bit larger than what we normally do for our weekly run, but Graciela's birthday is on Thursday. She'll be turning one year old. I cannot believe it. Um, so yeah, there's a couple extras in this, um, this week's grocery run. But I would like to share that with you. I've been seeing these videos go around and I wanted to go ahead and jump on that uh, bandwagon because one of our things that we want to do this year is to be healthy, but we also don't want to break our budget. So, um, yeah, I just want to go ahead and share this with you. If you like the video, please let me know down below um, if I should do more, if I should not. Just like it comment do what you gotta do to let me know what you want to see and she's so noisy and yeah so let's go ahead and get to it so here is our ginormous pile of yumminess um i guess i will just go ahead and start on this side and make my way that way so first off we've got this organic coconut milk in a can um, I've actually never bought it in a can before. I've always bought it in like a like a little container, kind of like this. But decided to do the cans today. These were two ninety nine each at Whole Foods. Uh, they're just the Whole Foods three six five brand. But all that's in the ingredients is um, I don't know if you can see that, but it says organic coconut, purified water, and then um, gar gar. Gargum. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but it doesn't sound too bad. Um, so we got two of those, and then I also got this um, sprouted seven grain bread. Now this is not as horrible as your average bread, so I thought I would go ahead and get some of these. What's in here is whole sprouted grains of red wheat berries, quinoa, oat groats, rye berries, barley, uh, millet, uh, water, wheat flour, 100% domestic honey, vital wheat gluten, oat fiber, yeast, salt, and molasses. So this is um, a bit better than, than the average bear, <laughs> average bread, and it tastes delicious. It's super soft. It's great for grilled cheese. I love it for grilled cheese. Uh, we usually get Ezekiel sprouted wheat bread but this was a bit cheaper and I'm trying to cut down on our costs so um, we went with this today I got three of them that'll last us a really long time um, then we of course got bananas here I'm just going to toss those out of the way now that we've seen them I always buy tons and tons of bananas because we use them in smoothies and Grace Yellow has banana every single day and so do I we just we love bananas in this house then I've got a bag of, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four pretty big organic sweet potatoes. Again, Graciela loves her sweet potatoes, so we have to get that. And uh, two onions, organic onions to cook with. Now this is part that was, that I was telling you about. <laughs> um, this will be for Graciela's birthday party. We're making guacamole, and so we have 13 avocados here. They were on sale 10 for $10 at Whole Foods, so we had to go ahead and take advantage of that deal. And here I've got some hemp hearts. These were on sale at Whole Foods as well. I think they were 3 or $4 off, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so these are just raw shelled hemp seeds. And I like to sprinkle these on our cereal in the morning, in our oatmeal. I put them in our uh, pancake batter and um, cookies. I, I Seriously, I sprinkle those on everything. Um, then I got a organic spaghetti squash here. That was from Hy-Vee, and they were only 99 cents a pound. So that's a really, really good price for that. And I got this um, coconut. It's a young coconut, so we can have the juice that is inside and eat the outside. And I want to make coconut milk out of the rind. So I'm going to make my own coconut milk with that and um, probably roast some of it too. That would be really good. 
So that was, I believe, $3.99 for that. Then I've got an organic acorn squash. Grace Yellow loves any kind of squash, so we had to get that. Um, sprinkle a bit of cinnamon on there, and we've got a delicious snack. Um, had to get some cereal for Rogelio because in the morning that's all he has time for. So I really like this Cascadian Farm. This is also really good as a granola to sprinkle on your yogurt or um, just to have plain as a little snack if you need something quick and easy. So it is um, organic Cascadian Farm and we got the oats and honey. I always like to sprinkle some cinnamon on top of mine with the hemp seeds that will keep you full for a bit longer if you sprinkle those hemp seeds on there. So then we got some pecans and walnuts and cashews because we go through a lot of those. I like to take them to work as snacks to munch on so that I'm not uh, fizzling out as the day goes on with my energy. And we got some celery. Um, I've been really loving celery with almond butter lately. It's just, it's been really good, a really good snack for me. Of course, we got some kale and some broccoli, all organic. And we got some local organic carrots here. We go through tons and tons of carrots. So I, I buy a bag like this or double this size every week, and we eat them all. So we go through a lot of that. Um, I got some Faye. I just got a small one this time because we're going to be really busy this week, so I won't be able to go through as much as we usually do. I usually get a big one, and then I put some in our smoothies, or um, I like to use this in place of sour cream, and I also like to use it when I bake. So um, I love that stuff. We got some Pink Lady Organic Apples today because we have apples every single day. Um, and then I got some organic medjool dates from Whole Foods. I haven't gotten these in a while, and I miss eating them. <laughs> uh, they're just a nice, sweet treat that is not naughty. We got some coconut water. I usually get pure cocoa brand, but they didn't have any today, so I went with the Whole Foods brand, and it is still 100% pulp-free juice, uh, coconut water. That's all that is in the ingredients is 100% uh, coconut juice. So, yeah, and it was a bit cheaper than the brand that we usually get, so we'll try that out and see how we like it. I give uh, Grace Yellow coconut water with her dinners um, just to make sure she stays nice and hydrated. She doesn't drink uh, juices or anything like that. She'll have smoothies, but other than that, I give her coconut water if she needs anything. And then um, I went ahead and I got this fermented tea in peach for Rogelio because I do not buy soda anymore. We haven't had soda since early August. And um, this... Uh, has the effect of soda mm -hmm. for him. He says it tastes just like soda. So, um, yeah, if I can get some probiotics into him while he thinks he's having a treat, that is wonderful. Um, I've really been loving this Supernatural Milk lately. It is, I don't know if you can see that, but it's non-homogenized. It's grass-fed, batch-pasteurized, and grade A. It's USDA organic, and... Um, it's cream top, so organic whole cream top, cream top milk. So that ha is what we have been getting. Uh, Rogelio really enjoys this as well because he grew up on a farm and they had the pleasure of having nice whole raw milk every day. But since we cannot get that where we live, um, this is the next best thing, I guess. Then one other thing that I really like to put in uh, Graciela's smoothies, and real Helios and mine as well, is this uh, Siggy's probiotic. It has 1 billion probiotics per serving, and I just get it in vanilla. It's Swedish style, um, a non-fat drinkable yogurt, but it's got all the probiotics in it. There is no uh, yucky things in the ingredients, and I really enjoy the taste of that. Over here, we've of course got our eggs. We go through lots and lots of eggs. So I just got the um, cage-free brown large eggs, uh, non-GMO verified. 
because that has been very important to me lately. Um, trying to reduce, if not eliminate completely, the consumption of GMOs in this household. So that's been important. And these were only $3.99, so uh, not as expensive as some places, but at Whole Foods you can get this for $3.99. And then I know Hy-Vee has organic, cage-free, GMO-free um, eggs as well, and they're only $3.49. So um, they're not horribly expensive. It's doable. And of course, I got lots of organic food frozen berries to put in the smoothies because um, the frozen ones, it makes like a nice consistency with the smoothies when you whip those up with some of the yogurt. Um, these were $3.99, $3.49 a piece, yes, $3.49. Then um, we were out of butter completely, so I had to get some. Um, I really enjoy this carry. Then we got some corn. Rogelio really loves corn. I don't eat much of it, but yeah, he really likes it, so I went ahead and got some. The bigger package was actually on sale cheaper than the smaller ones, so we went ahead with the big one. It is non-GMO. We made sure of that because corn is one of the top um, genetically modified crops in the U.S. right now, so watch out for corn products in your foods, in your meals, everything like that you want to avoid the genetically modified crud. Um, we got some organic blueberries. Graciela really, really loves blueberries. And um, there's something that she will actually eat tons and tons of, which she doesn't eat tons of anything. So I had to make sure to get those. And then also I bought her some organic Brussels sprouts. I have yet to have her try any of these. So I'm going to steam these up and see how she likes them. If she doesn't like them, I'll eat them because I really like them. Then I was going to get just some organic spinach, but they didn't have spinach by itself. So I went ahead with this Power Energy. It's still by Earthbound Farms. I really like that brand. Um, they just seem to have good stuff. So this is, where does it say? Well, it's a deep green blend. Maybe it's on the back here, yeah. Organic baby spinach, red and green chard, baby kale, and yeah, so all organic. It's got nice and green, nice greens in there. Um, I always put a handful of greens in Graciela's and mine and Rogelio's smoothies. So that'll be good to have. Just toss that right over there. Then um, this is another thing that I have for her party. Instead of sugary, uh, sugary snacks, I'm going to be putting out these clementines. Um, because we're already going to have cake, we're going to have ice cream, you don't need cookies and stuff too. So we're going to have uh, these. I've also got these um, organic oranges just to have at the house since those are for the party and everybody's going to gobble those up. I have these oranges. I'm going to slice a couple. Um, Put them in the sparkling water at her party and then have the rest for us to take to work for lunches and what have you and of course you have to have some chocolate so we got some enjoy life uh, mini chips they are dairy nut and soy free they are non-gmo verified so there's no soy latin in here um, soy is also one of the top genetically modified crops in the U.S. and it is in almost everything. Um, at least everything sweet and yummy. So these are delicious. They melt beautifully. I love baking with them. I love eating them just right out of the package and um, I don't feel as guilty when I have them because there's nothing bad in the ingredients. So that is that part of the food. So over here, this is not food, I know, we cannot consume this, but there is nothing horribly horrible about these. Um, I did get these while I was at Whole Foods because all Kiss My Face is on sale, and I love Kiss My Face. So I got this moisturizer, and it's in pomegranate Aussie Eye. 
um, na nourish naturally with our botanical blends. So this was $5.99 instead of around $10. And then I got another Kiss My Face moisturizer. And this is Peaches and Cream Nourish Naturally. And um, yes, so there's no parabens or sulfates or anything yucky, cancer causing in these. And then I got some Kiss My Face Active Life Natural Deodorant in Cucumber Green Tea. Now this smells delicious and I love it. And um... I've never actually bought this brand of deodorant before, but I do like to buy the more natural deodorants because conventional deodorants have parabens and aluminum in them, and the aluminum really scares me. So um, if you are interested in why it scares me, I will put a link down below um, to the Food Babe, and she actually did a whole article on aluminum in in products and what it does is just really really scary and after you watch it I would hope that you would be scared enough to switch your deodorant as well to aluminum free so I am just going to put all this goodness away and um, I hope that you enjoyed my shopping trip